Guys, this is Potanerd. I've set up everything now to give you a sneak preview of the Dino board. This is my old breadboard, what you see in the picture. Um, it's newly refurbished. It looks now delightfully clean and simple. So, um, this one is the Dino board here, over here. Um, I attached a spare speaker, which is now mounted in a um, MHS resonant chamber. For demo purposes I included one single uh, LED, which is over here, which will act as a substitute for the LED strings. Um, here I have the three switches, so main switch, auxiliary switch and the reset switch. Um, apart from these obvious connections I only had to connect the speaker output to, the, to two ADC channels and this is for the audio sampling. Um, I downloaded previously an um, older version of next, next week's um, LSOS uh, code to this uh, Dino board. Um, well, here over here you can see my second Dino board which I uh, received so far. You can see here basically that it closely matches the length of the 18650 uh, 07 volt battery. This is not a coincidence. Uh, in fact, uh, I designed it in, uh, on a purpose um, so that it takes up the same room in the lightsaber chassis as the battery. So um, I also want to uh, show you in this demo that actually the Dino board can work with the lower voltage as 5 volts. So you can see that um, I use my um, bench power supply with 5 volt to um, supply the board now. Um, okay, I switch it on. Okay, let it hum and. Um, I will now lower the voltage to around 3.7 volt, which actually corresponds to the nominal voltage of this battery type, which is the most commonly used battery type in lightsaber chassises. So you can see basically the that is lighting up. Okay, so now let's go to a bit lower with the voltage. Okay, let's for example try 3.4 volt to simulate the battery being discharged. Okay, luckily it still works. Okay, then let's see. I expect that with 3.3 volt. Okay, most some of the chips on this on this uh, board are actually 0.3 volt compliant. So, um, I hope it still works. Yeah, now it starts to misbehave, of course. So, this is already the CLS1 volt is already a bit low for it. And if I go too low, then it will also case to work. So, basically, um, the Arduino, the, the Atmega uh, processor, and uh, the um, MPU is still working, but uh, this voltage is definitely too low for the audio amplifier. So, now I'm going to reset the board. I mean, I can give it a proper reset. And go back to 3.7 volt again. Now it should work again. So you can see basically that um, a CEDA 7 volt operation is, is actually um, um, available and possible. And it will still work. Of course, as the battery discharges uh, sooner or later, it will uh, case to or fail to work, but this is quite normal also for other type of uh, Sabre boards. So, this was uh, just a snake preview. I'm going to make a, an, another uh, um, um, videos soon as I progress with the validation, but I just wanted to give you a first feeling uh, of the Dino board. Let's make it more closer as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.